Dobro Yutro, Divine Pisces 222. It is Friday, yay Friday, the 13th, December 13th, 2019. I'm going to do a quick energy check-in today, and I got hustle because I'm signing my lease this morning before I go to work. So, um, <clears throat> let's see, all right, so first card out of Cat Mars. <laughs> so... I do feel that there is, first of all, still triggers going back and forth between the twins right now. Having to do with mostly self-confidence, I'm feeling. There's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of concern around self-worth and that sort of thing. Um, but, of course, I'm also feeling a lot of sexual energy coming in here between the twins. Um, but I do feel also that, you know, a lot of twins do have their guard up right now. Um, because of the energies that are going back and forth, mainly the Dark Knight of the Soul energies, I feel. Um, you know, I was talking about yesterday how Divine Feminine is kind of feeling drained. So, um, I do feel that a lot of Divine Feminines have either stepped away or they've kind of put up a block in some way to those energies being drained. And in a way, like trying to, um kind of control the energy that's going back and forth um, because of that. Now, some Divine Masculines may have actually put up their shields, too. They may have actually stepped away. They're quiet. Um, some of them may have actually blocked their own energies here, too. Okay? Um, except for sexual energy. <laughs> right? But I do feel Divine Masculine here is still trying to control... The connection, still trying to control the ending of cycles, still really trying to hold on to control right now. And kind of going back and forth in this energy of releasing control, holding on, releasing control, holding on. So trying to balance out that masculine and feminine aspect um, within that everybody has, right? Um, sorry, I've got like a hair in my mouth. This is why I don't wear my hair down, guys. Um... But yeah, I mean, definitely triggers coming in here, I feel. But like a trigger to move, almost. Like a, you know, wanting to balance, thing out, balance things out. Wanting to make forward movement and not feel stuck where they are, right? And um, I do feel new beginnings are coming for both twins. Now, this could be in the connection itself. This could be with themselves, by themselves, that sort of thing. It could be also, you know, a, a brand new beginning with a soulmate or, or something to that effect or a new job. Okay, so I do feel some new beginnings coming. I feel movement in general. So I feel like some, well, you know, possibly movement, like actual moving, that sort of thing. But movement, I feel, like within the connections are actually happening right now. Um, there's still a lot of uh, clinging to the material, though. There's a lot of... Um, codependency, financial codependency, that sort of thing. Still some stubbornness, obviously, going back and forth. But at the same time, I do feel almost like a... I want to, to release the control. Now, whether it actually happens, whether the control is actually released, it remains to be seen. But I do feel a want to release control by Divine Masculine right now. Divine Feminine, for the most part is releasing control, still trying to go with the flow, but there's still a little bit of trepidation there, okay? And, I mean, it's it's going to happen, right? Um, there's still some triggers that need to be worked out, some insecurities and whatnot. But I do feel Divine Feminine is, you know, trying to kind of push through uh, what may be happening right now, right? Uh, and... I, I will say, I do feel, again, both twins very much in their heads, but about about different things, right? Um, Divine Masculine's very much in his head, of course, about what's going on um, with uh, his awakening, you know, either trying to fight that off or really not sure, under, or understanding what's happening. Um, also in their heads about choices that they need to make, any... Anything that may be going on in the karmic situation, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, they may also be getting signs and synchronicities, and, they're, and they're, they're actually trying to figure out what the heck that means. 
Divine Feminine, you know, also in her head, but again, really more about um, herself, trying to get herself done or figure it out, right? Trying to get her, her own stuff done. Does that make sense? Um, so each twin kind of in their heads about things, but yeah, definitely still some awakenings happening with, with these Divine Masculines, man. Uh, it's been going through, they've been going through it for quite a while. It's like a really slow process for a lot of them. Like, you know, with Taurus coming in here, you know, it's a really slow, slow, slow process for a lot of them. And it's probably very, very painful. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sensing just a lot of abandonment issues kind of coming up right now. Abandonment issues are big um, with Divine Masculine right now. And it may be reflecting onto Divine Feminine, so keep that in mind. Abandonment issues, rejection, um... I'm also getting some sort of abuse, and I'm not, it could be physical abuse, I'm also getting mental and emotional abuse as well. So a lot of these things are kind of surfacing right now for Divine Masculine, um, which is, you know, it's not fun. I mean, Divine Feminine, you've been through it, right? Um, sometimes you, <laughs> things surface that you had thought you had forgotten, or that you, you actively were trying, trying to forget, um, and then realized, um, that you couldn't, right, that it was, it was always there the entire time, and then all of a sudden it comes up, and you're like, I, wow, right? So it's happening with Divine Masculine right now, and it's, it's a painful process for them, okay? So taking a look at Divine Masculine, yeah, um, Divine Masculine, this really should be upside down, Divine Masculine is feeling very, very drained, um, and he's drained within himself, you know, saying, like, Divine Masculine feels tired, and he does. He feels tired of fighting, he feels tired of what's happening, he feels tired of the conflict, he feels tired, um, just in general, he's drained, right? So, that being said, Everything that's happening right now is happening to show him how to reverse that, okay? And some of them have been working really hard on something, you know, maybe job-related or, you know, just trying to build up a foundation here because they're tired of feeling stuck. They're tired of feeling codependent, right? They're tired of clinging on to the things that they're learning do not matter, right, that they thought gave them them, them gave them strength, but in reality, it's not this. It's this that gives them strength, right? The in, the the inner um, fulfillment, the love within oneself. And they're starting to kind of get into a place where they're reaching for that fulfillment. They're reaching for their own happiness, regardless of anybody else. But it's going to take time. Right? But that's what the Divine's trying to show them here, right? It, it's not insurmountable, you know? This this pa this body of water is not something you can't cross, right? You can. You just have to believe that you can, and you just have to want that you can. Or, does that make sense? Yeah, you have to... You have to want it. <laughs> Sorry, it's early, guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, Divine Masculine right now does feel a little bit like his world is upside down. There's a lot that's coming down. There's a lot that's happening here. There are cycles that are being closed, and he's clinging, clinging, clinging to those cycles, right? But I'm still feeling that heart chakra opening up with Divine Masculine right now, okay? That's where a lot of this emotion's coming from. A lot of this uh, negativity and <clears throat> inner child wounds are because, you know, the heart chakra is opening up. Um, so Divine Feminine, you know, keep doing your healing work because it's healing, believe it or not, it's actually healing Divine Masculine. It may not seem like it right now, but it is. But things have to come up first before you can heal them, right? It's just, it's just the way that it is. So what's happening here with, if you're doing your work is it's bringing up stuff for Divine Masculine that needs to be clear, right? And he's still being pushed, he's still being pushed to make a decision. He's still being pushed to leap, um, to move forward for his highest good, regardless of anything else or anyone else. Um, and he's he's just triggered right now. 
and he's afraid to do it. This again should be upside down. He's absolutely terrified to do it. He knows he needs to. He sees the decision. He sees the what needs to happen. He's just overwhelmed, tired, triggered, scared, burdened. All right? Incredibly overwhelmed. Um, and there's just a lot of conflict around them right now. This could be, could be, you know, outer conflict with family, friends, karmic situation, whatever, but also inner conflict, and they don't want that anymore. They don't. They're tired of this. They're exhausted, right? They're feeling incredibly drained because of that, right? And they're just going through towers. Big, big towers. So like I said before, you know, Divine Masculine has been kind of sitting, stewing, dwelling, <coughs> sorry, in denial, um, resistance. So the universe is like, all right, here's a tower. Have fun. Have fun with the tower. Oh my. Um, okay. This really don't need this to be a long video. I'll try to get through these as quickly as I can. Okay. okay that's got that's just that's just too many. Right. No, they're telling me all of them. Alright, it's fine. Um, that was weird. Alright, so yeah, um, Divine Feminine, you know, Still working on her coins, still working on her foundation, trying to get everything built up here. And I feel like, again, Divine Feminine is really seeing su success here. And, of course, this is an eight, right? So so really seeing everything kind of come together and, and feeling that abundance, feeling that, like, fulfillment kind of coming in as she's working on herself, right? And, of course, there's also a decision for Divine Feminine. Not going to lie, guys, I'm on the verge of making an incredible leap of faith today. Right, so I know a lot of you are in the same position here, okay? And I feel like it's it's all coming together for you. It's all coming to light, and and you know you're not really blinding yourself, so to speak, but you're listening to that intuition. You're listening to that inner knowing that's telling you, you need to move forward. This is what you need to do. This is your next step, right? And so seeing success there. Um, so all the work you've done, everything that you've put into it, you know, your manifestation, your your healing work. Um, has paid off because you're being shown what you need to do next, right? You're being shown the decision that you need to make. You're being shown your truth. And you're embracing your truth. You're integrating your truth, right? And it's growing. The truth is just growing. And it's like every single day you get more and more and more truth coming in and more information, more messages, right? And more that needs to heal, yes, but feeling a lot more balance within that, you know, feeling that emotional intelligence that we've talked about before, right? And and not wanting to go back to, you know, this negativity that you've been feeling, right? So trying to, to balance out the negativity that you're receiving from Divine Masculine and also the inner doubt that seems to be coming in. And I will say, you know, doubt, ego loves to creep in right before I'm about to take a leap. It does it to me every single time, right? And we've got some mirroring here, though, because Divine Feminine is reaching for it. She's she's going. Reaching for it. Divine Masculine's like, oh, I wish I could, but Divine Feminine's like, oh, no, I can. <laughs> and I will, right? Um, so, yeah, yeah, trying to balance all of that out, right? And don't get me wrong, I mean, Divine Feminine has been back and forth in her masculine energy, too. That's where some of that doubt and fear is coming in, too. Because, you know, like I said, the masculine energies are are in fear, are in doubt, are in, you know, um, resistance, right? Whereas, whereas the feminine energy is embracing, is surrendering, is leaping, right? But yeah, Divine, Divine Feminine is just like, I don't... I don't want to do this anymore. Like, I don't want to not speak my truth. I don't want to hide anymore. I don't want to hide who I am. I want to embrace who I am. Everyone else be damned. I'm, I'm doing my thing. I'm ending my cycles. You know, I have the power to end my cycles. 
I don't want to repeat them anymore, right? There's been an uneven exchange for a really long time, and she doesn't want to do that anymore. She doesn't want to be codependent anymore. She doesn't want anyone else to be codependent on her, including Divine Masculine. So you've stepped away from your Divine Masculine because they're codependent, because they're they're toxic, whatever. You got to do what you got to do, okay? Like, don't beat yourself up about it, right? Because everything that's happening is happening for a reason. You may be moving on to a, a, a new stage of, of your journey here, right, because of this transition. And Divine Feminine is going through a transformation. So is Divine Masculine, okay? And Divine Feminine, I feel a lot of Divine Feminines are um, really kind of in, like, I say str strategy mode, but, but almost like creative strategy, if that makes sense. Like, wanting to to do something different, wanting to branch out, wanting to do something maybe she's never done before, step out of her comfort zone, right? To heal the connection and healing the connection with what she's doing, right? Because the connection's always there, it's always going to be there, and there's nothing that anybody can do about it. All right, let's get some messages. See? That star. A lot of them are spying right now. If not in the 3D, definitely seeing you in the 5D. Stop asking this question, guys. <laughs> Stop. That one's been coming up a lot lately. Alright, let's get some messages and advice from Source, and I gotta hustle. Yeah? Here's to new beginnings, guys. New beginnings are coming. They just are. Embrace them. Enjoy them for what they are. See them as an adventure, right? Get yourself clear. And like Some of you are still carrying around some um, heavy energies within yourself. These aren't just coming from Divine Masculine. So you may want to do some clearings, especially past life karma, that sort of thing, heart chakra clearing. Um, I feel uh, solar plexus as well. Some of you are triggered right now. But yeah, I feel like Divine Feminine is definitely going through a lot of self-reflection right now. And Divine Masculine really is, too. Um, like I said, there's a lot that's coming up for Divine Masculine that they're trying to figure out, okay? Um, and everything, you're a direct reflection, right? You're, you're mirroring all the time, right? So Divine Feminine trying to set those boundaries, trying to get herself situated, you know, and in, in her own way teaching Divine Masculine how to do this because Divine Masculine doesn't set healthy boundaries either, let's be honest. Most of them do not. They don't even know how to do that. But where there's a will, there's a way. Right? That's the important thing, right? You, what you see is what you get. Manifestation, right? It's the same thing. So a lot of you are manifesting right now. Use that energy from that full moon, man. I'm telling you. Um, especially since it's the twins moon, right? Perfect! Alright guys, thank you so much. And again, I want to thank everybody who's, who's donated, who's... Um, you know, sent me stuff from my wish list, and um, as soon as things, like, start coming in, if you put a note with it and everything in your name, I'll definitely make sure I give you a shout-out, and I really appreciate that. Also, um, the <clears throat> private mini-read session for this Saturday is completely booked, okay? I, I said I was only going to take 10, but I ended up think, taking 12 or 13, okay? So we'll see how that goes. However, I am going to do it next weekend as well, so if you want to go ahead and sign up for that, you can. Um, you can just shoot me an email, divinepisces222 at gmail.com. 
and I'll send you my payment information and then put you on the list for next week. All right. All right, guys. Well, I hope this has resonated. Um, if it has, please like, share, subscribe, and I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.